What? Who at the 250 Club? Who? 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 What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Wendy, and I'm back <laughs> with another video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing to your girl's channel. New videos posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. A1 since day one, or however long you've been here, I sure appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about already, man. It's all love. So today, I am I have my hair in twist, okay? Like... The shrinkage is real. Anyway, that ain't what we talk about. So this is week four of my Ozampic journey, okay? And what a journey it has been. So let's recap. So week three, I injected myself in my abdomen and instantly I had issues. So uh, what I forgot to mention was that I had um, pain at the injection site, uh, it like wasn't like it wasn't like killer pain or anything like that, but I did notice that I had some discomfort um, where I had uh, given myself the injection. I also um, didn't lose any weight that week. In, in all actuality, I had gained a pound, um, but hey, one pound, we're not going to fuss over one pound. I had constipation nausea like I would drink just a little bit of water and I'd be like oh I feel like I feel like I'm gonna throw up and I don't I don't vomit that's not what I do what else had happened I think that's about it so now we're moving on to week four so I injected myself back in the um back in my upper right hamstring and gave myself the injection there okay okay and so then, um, what I had, what I was telling y'all about last week, uh, this is it. It's the Bu Bu. It's pure green blue biotic shot. So it's got ginger, lemon, agave, uh, blue algae, not spirulina, or however you say it. And what is this? Probiotics. This thing right here, baby. No, ma'am, no, sir. This was gross. Like. I thought it was going to taste good. It didn't. But um, I just take these. I just do these just to um, add some type of healthy stuff to our regimen. And so what I've been trying to do a day is drink water. But my girl weighing in, she was saying that uh, laxatives make you hold water. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was doing this trick. Back back when I was in the army and I was doing that, I didn't know that it made you hold water. But I guess I knew something because, yeah. Anyway, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So that's that for that. So now what I decided to do this week, I said, okay, well, Wang In said that laxatives make you hold water. Okay, so you have excess water weight. Okay, so... What are we going to do? We're going to take a water pill to get rid of this water weight. And so I took, um, so it's a whole pill, but you take half of it. So you take half, so you take it um, twice. So you use, so basically that whole pill, but at different times you do during the week. So that's what I did. And um, yeah, I still am not having the same type of, bowel movements that I was having pre uh shooting myself in the abdomen but um I didn't have any real discomfort or anything like that um it's not like how it was week three like week three I was just like bro like this is not this is not what that is so week four has been much better um I know now not to give myself an injection in the abdomen and so I do want to answer some questions um uh, where you at, lady? So, um, how long, y'all? So, Sparkling Shell, she asks, how soon after taking Ozampic 
did you start feeling full? And so to answer that question, like, so week one, uh, it was like, as to me, um, as soon as I gave myself the injection within a couple of hours, it was already working. Like I wasn't as ravenous as I was before, but cause I gave myself the shot on Friday. So by the time it came to like Tuesday, it was like, no, Tuesday, Wednesday, like closer time to needing another injection. My body was like, no, this ain't working. So at 0.25, it didn't really do nothing for me. It wasn't until I went to, and just please keep in mind that I was only on 0.25 for a week. So then that next week, I followed what my doctor had prescribed me with, and I went up to uh, the 0.5. So 0.5 is where I noticed the most rapid change and for me um truth be told like it to me it seems like it, it's getting better every week because week two I, I saw progressive results uh week three i didn't really see i didn't see no results in week three but uh here in week four i see the other portions uh portions week four i see even greater results so let's talk about yesterday yesterday was wednesday march 30th right okay so i'm going uh i wake up and i'm up like four hours yeah like four to four and a half hours and i hadn't eaten and i wasn't hungry and so um i didn't eat until like later on in that night and i had one piece of pizza like i had because i had ordered us uh some papa john's so i had one piece of pizza and then i didn't even finish the pizza and the night before that i had cooked um steak broccoli and uh mashed potato and i didn't even like it's, it was so sad because <laughs> I'm like, girl, you're, you done bought a T-bone steak and you're not even eating it. Like, what are you doing? And so basically, um, I didn't eat all of that food, but in my defense, I had a banana before I ate. So I hadn't considered that I had just ate a banana and that semi-glutide causes you to feel fuller longer. I hadn't considered that. So what I try to do now is I try not to eat. <laughs> I try not to like eat anything. Oh, and then Monday, on Monday I had made a, um, I'm looking for the bottle, but I made a, a 22 ounce um, bottle of vanilla macaroon tea from uh, Tezo. And so I sipped that like all during the day. And then um oh no that's when i had the steak so i had made that drink and so i sipped it all throughout the day and then that night is when i had the banana and then the um the food that i didn't eat so it's been really really good week four so week five what we're expecting for i know we're gonna do the weight but for week five what i'm expecting to see on week five because i'm actually going up to point one just going up to point one. 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 I'm going up. I'm moving up in dosage. So now I expect to see like even more, you know, rapid weight loss. That's what I'm expecting to see for week five and probably some pretty decent valve movements as well. So let me go to my notes. And so last week, March 24th. So let's, cause some folks may be new here. Um, so starting weight was 263 and I'm speaking it out loud because that's my truth. So I weighed myself March 12th, that was 258, March 17th, 253, March 24th, 254, um, and then March 30th. So I stepped on the scale today and I am happy to report that we are down and we are at uh, 249, 249, hey, 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 we at 249, baby, so what? 
Who at the 250 Club? Who? 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 Who at the 250 Club? Me? She is? That's who? Girl, if you can't tell, I'm excited. I'm so excited. So, y'all, I'm just so excited. I'm down 14 pounds. So, week four, I have lost a total of four pounds. And um, it really does feel good. You know what I'm saying? So, I am going to start... Mm, I am gonna start working out. I, uh, it's just a, I need some of some nasty taste in my mouth. Uh, Boy, if you don't, uh, it's, on my, it's on my tongue. Girl, quit clapping. Uh, and I'm just saying that because like, y'all just don't know. Like, you don't know. You don't know the struggle. Like all jokes aside, like it's, it's it really has been a struggle. You know what I'm saying? And so now I'm seeing results and I want to encourage all of you guys, you know what I'm saying? Like to just, just do it, you know, just, just jump, just whatever it is that you got to do to ensure your own happiness, to ensure that you and your family are taken care of. Like that's what you got to do. So whether it's your mental health, your physical health, whatever it is, like, just, you know, just go for it because I see a lot of y'all and you guys are very encouraging to me because like I have been dealing with this stuff on my own for, you know, for a long time. But to to post and to see, you know, where you guys are encouraging me and um, you guys are telling me that I'm encouraging you, I'm like, whoa, I didn't sign up for this, but you know what I'm saying? Like, so we're in this together. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I am, uh, cause one, I can't remember the person, but, um, one of you guys had asked me to post the videos of my, um, journey. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue to, uh, post my journey, no matter how bad <laughs> it is. So I want to do some shout outs. Uh, I want to do, uh, from the week three. So Ava, Cut birth, uh, Mrs. E, blessed and highly favored, Beehive, weighing in, yeah, and I thought Miss uh, Miss Marianne, Miss Marianne as well, yeah. So uh, just really want to shout you guys out. As far as um, and if you want to shout out like them, just comment on these Ozampic videos. My bad, I forgot one person. Hold on, hold what you got. Uh, sparkling shell. Yep. Shout out to sparkling shell as well. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I guess I could take y'all with me. Do I want to take y'all with me? I don't know. Cause I was going to take y'all with me and show you, maybe I'll do, maybe I will, maybe I will, maybe I will. I don't know. Cause then y'all going to be all up in my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make me shame. Because I was go I was thinking about doing like maybe a day, uh, a day of what I eat, but um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so this has been Journey with Wendy. I'm Mishi Her, I'm Wendy. New videos posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down below. Or hit your girl up at Journey with Wendy with an I, not a Y, at gmail.com. And with that, you know what that means that your girl is what? That your girl is AO.